I'm excited to be here with Julia from Snappic. Julia, now I know that in the last couple years you guys were working on new things and you've launched a couple new things here. Is there anything you want to highlight that's new that people should look forward to? Yeah, so we've got uh, AR sharing um, and that's kind of using facial recognition, uh, like speeding up the, the sharing process so you don't have people constantly going on having to enter their details. They do it once, take a snap of their face and then they'll get a personalized gallery. Um, and then we've also got um, AR segmentation. It's kind of the, the same sort of concept as background removal that we've been, a lot of the industry's been using for photos, stills, GIFs. Um, and now this is for videos where we can actually segment the foreground and the background so we can take a person and apply like various effects um, to either the foreground on them or the background, which I think is going to open up a lot of opportunities for. for so it, it sounds fancy and technical. What does that mean for boothers? What opportunities are you talking about? So that's that's going to allow boothers to create like more custom experiences. Um, you know, like especially like if you if you consider like putting in a, a booth at a at a bar or a pub or a restaurant, um, and you want to have something that's a little bit different, you can then have almost like a green screen type background and have like a glitch effect on the person and create like almost like those TikTok experiences yep. that they can then create like overlays for, have like music and really have this kind of video experience that they can sell as more of a brand. Right. Um, and it's more monetization opportunity. Exactly, they make more money exactly. but with the more custom work. Exactly. One thing that I've always been curious about with you, um, there's other softwares. What is it about Snappic that Everyone wants to use Snappic. It grew so fast. Like, what makes you guys special? So that's a tough one. I mean, there's a lot of great um, like platforms out there. Um, I think we we focused on providing great support. We got 24 hours, 365 days a year. We have support, and then we've really built like features to streamline the process. I came from events, like myself and and Rosella. We came from an events company, um, and we just were dealing with issues all the time. We wanted to like really streamline the process and give them give our, our customers like an easy solution but then also have the platform with enough tools that they can really like branch out and really create like more of the experiences as opposed to just a photo just a gif just a video so from your role um, a lot of boothers use your tool it's a new world now than it was two years ago are you seeing any trends or any things that people should be paying attention to now <laughs> i think 360s just exploded yep um i don't know almost why because I feel like COVID was supposed to give us social distancing yeah. and now we're all jumping on a platform <laughs> together. Um, but yeah, I think 360 is um, pretty big and I think the video like experience avenue has has kind of grown just because of TikTok and all the social media platforms. So I think that is something that is going to continue to become like prevalent in, in our industry um, for events. So my final question for you is when someone is evaluating which software to use, any advice on how they should think through that process, what they should consider? How do they pick which one to use? I mean, I, I, I always say, like, I don't think it should always just be based on price. I mean, that's rich coming from me, considering we are like a like kind of priced higher, more like a high-end kind of product. But I, I do feel like, you know, go out and test. Test out all the different platforms. Don't base your decision just on price or just on something you've seen. Like, go and test everything see what works i know we, a lot of our customers use you know multiple platforms whatever suits that event whatever they need so i think that's important like to to test everything out um, make sure you know which platform is good for what awesome thank you julio pleasure